At about 8.35 last night, the San Diego Police Department received a request for assistance from the National City Police Department, who were in pursuit of an attempted murder suspect in the area of the sports arena in the city of San Diego. That pursuit continued to the area of Nimitz and West Point Loma Boulevard, where the occupants of that vehicle fired upon the National City Police officers. The pursuit got back onto the freeway and continued down here to the downtown area when the vehicle exited at, in the area of 10th and A, the occupants again fired at the National City Police officers. The pursuit again continued up to Russ Boulevard between San Diego City College and San Diego High School where the occupants fired upon the National City Police officers for a third time. At that point, one of the National City Police officers was able to return fire. However, at this point, it does not appear that anyone was hit. Two suspects fled from the vehicle, armed with an apparent rifle and one handgun that was able to be seen, and they eventually uh, barricaded themselves inside of a trash dumpster on the campus here. Uh, the assistance of SWAT and emer emergency negotiators were called to the assist at the scene, and they have been in negotiations with them continuously ever since. The negotiators have been able to to coordinate the surrender of at least one firearm, and we're still in the process of trying to get these suspects to surrender and have this be a peaceful resolution to this incident. So with it still being ongoing, should the public be concerned at all? Is this still a very dangerous situation, or are you still confident that this will end peacefully? We're obviously hopeful that it's going to end peacefully. We have the resources in place to contain this this. Uh, this matter, the San Diego City College and San Diego High School have both uh, canceled education and, and instruction for the day. Uh, there have been some road closures associated with that. Most of those have been cleared up by now. This is the only active scene that we have at this time. Give you a quick rundown how we got involved today was, I'm sorry, last night, roughly at about 8.15, one of our officers spotted a vehicle and he believed that he recognized one of the passengers as being Christopher Marquez that moment he attempted to make a traffic stop on the vehicle quickly that turned into a pursuit um, the lieutenant just provided you the play-by-play -play as far as the pursuit um, there were two of our officers were in the in the vehicle when they arrived to this location they were taking a gunfire and one of the officers returned fire two officers in a national city cruiser yes and and, and then what transpired? And then they att they attempted to stop this vehicle. They believe that they saw Christopher Marquez, and that's when they attempted to do a traffic stop. And did he just continue on without stopping, or was Correct. there no interaction at all? No, there was no interaction. The vehicle failed to yield. They attempted to stop it, and it turned into a high-speed pursuit. And were shot, no shots fired there? No shots fired there. Now, and then... So, if you would, what was the next point of contact? It was a continuous pursuit. On, can you be a little more specific about the route? I, I don't have the route with me. But in the in the city of San Diego now, and we're in the sport, uh, the, the area of Midway? Nimitz, Lomo, correct. You're not quite sure exactly where? Correct. But, so, at least three times, your officers were fired on three different times, correct. Including in this area. We're, we're talking about Nimitz, we're talking about on the 163, and then the third location was here. Was it, was it a high-speed high pursuit? It was a high-speed pursuit. Your officers are okay? Our officers are okay. They were not hit at all? They were not hit. Okay. Thank you for asking. Can you talk about his history with your department? We have the Jack in the Box incident. We believe there was an incident three years ago on Coronado. This is yes. a guy who fired at officers, SWAT members, he's believed to have shot a bounty hunter. This is, is this your most wanted? I mean, this has to be the, the guy you are all looking for. Christopher is a dangerous person, obviously. And thank you for giving the historical component because three years, I want to say it was two or three years ago, we had a SWAT standoff with him on Outer Road right off uh, Coronado Avenue. Uh, it was several hours before he eventually surrendered and he was taken into custody. Um, from that case, I believe that it turned into a warrant. That incident turned into a warrant. And then uh, that's when he had the run in with the bail bondsman. And then after that, our officers about a week ago on the 5th, um, 
were conducting a traffic stop on the stolen vehicle. They did not know who the occupants were. At that time, that's when uh, Christopher jumped out of the car, ran, turned, faced the officers, and fired multiple shots. So, yes, he's a very dangerous person. 